Welcome to another video on geography skills. Today we're going to be looking at population pyramids. These graphs give us a quick snapshot of the age and sex of a population. These are called the basic demographic characteristics. They're especially helpful for looking at population trends over time. So when we're looking at a population pyramid, we'll see a couple of features. First of all, on the left we'll see the age going up here in brackets. Underneath we'll see percentage of population, so 0.8%, 1%, etc. Then we'll see it's split into genders. So on the left you've got the males, on the right you've got females. And what this gives us is a broad picture of the demographic makeup of society. How many people are aged 0 to 4 as opposed to 5 to 9. What we're really looking for here are trends. We're looking to see this shape and thinking through, well what does that tell us about what the population is doing overall in a society? So here we have two examples of different societies that have vastly different population pyramids. Before I continue, I should note here, some population pyramids don't have percentage of population, they have the actual population. So this is population in millions here. It actually shows the exact same thing. So it really doesn't matter which one you choose, uh, but you note that they should be different. Here we're seeing two very different populations, and we can see that because of the shapes that are created by each of these societies. So we can tell, for example, that in Gola, there aren't that many people over a certain age, but there are many, many, many people under a certain age. That tells us that the population of Angola is rapidly increasing. Whereas in China here, we see the bulk of the population in middle ages and a lessening of the number of people in the younger ages. So their population is actually declining. There's a helpful graph I found in Wikimedia that I'll show you now. So here we can see four different shapes and these shapes very clearly show us what is happening. And they're described here. So the first shape we saw was similar to Angola, stage one. It's a population which is expanding. So you're getting more and more people born and the population is increasing a fair amount. Secondly, we have stage two. It's much more steady. It's a constant growth. Finally, we have, uh, not finally, stage three, we have stationary. So the population is not actually increasing and, and we're getting kind of, people are naturally dying as they get older and the numbers are pretty much staying the same. They're at a, they're at a similar rate. And then finally, we saw the Chinese example, which is contracting, which means the population is going down. If those numbers continue, there will be less people in that country over time. So they're the four main categories that we see with population pyramids that we can look out for when we're looking to see these trends. Here's a very interesting visualization of this process. So we've got two countries here. We've got the United States on the left and we have Nigeria on the right. Now watch what happens. This black line is the median line. That's the half the populations above that line and half the populations below it. Have a look what's happening over time with the United States having much more of a population to start with, but Nigeria having that kind of exponential growth that we were discussing. As you can see, they're catching up very quickly to the United States to the point where in the future they will take over them. Okay, so that's a clear visualization of this process of different countries having growth that is clearly seen by the trends that we see here in their population pyramids. So that's population pyramids. Any questions, comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.